Hello everyone, here with my P582 response to sportsmanship. Um, I gotta say it was the first time I've seen this video. I um, thought it was a really good example of uh, showing sportsmanship. Like the coach said, it's a great moment when someone has the character to step up and do the right thing at the right time. Um, these girls from the Central Washington team, uh, Mallory and Liz, definitely did the right thing at the right time. It was only right that girl hits a home run, she should get a home run, um, not be called out because her teammates touch her or have to get a pinch runner and only get a single out of it. Um, so I thought that was really cool of those girls to do that. Um, reflecting, uh, reflecting on the time um, as a player or coach that I experienced something like this, um, I think I've seen a lot of my players have shown a lot of characters as far as like, you know, like clapping for injured players when they get up or get carried off the field and just shaking hands after the games, clapping for the other team's crowd and for our crowd after games. Um, but I think one that kind of stood out, I almost forgot about this until I saw the video, but um, years ago I was coaching JV in a game. Uh, we were winning. It was probably like 3-0 or something like that, but um, one of the other opponents um, dribbled past our last defender, and then he, he dribbled our goalie. He hit it kind of wide. When he went to go shoot, one of our defenders came sliding. Uh, I guess a little bit out of control, but it was nothing dirty, but accidentally kind of took the guy out from behind um, or from the side. And uh, the player got injured on the play, and the referee didn't call anything. He actually called the goal kick for us because it went off of his foot. But I guess the ref didn't see it. Um, but the kid got injured. He was down for a while, and my player came over to me and told me, like, you know, sorry, coach. I said, no problem. But he felt really bad that he hurt the kid, and he said he didn't even touch the ball. He just took the guy out. He didn't mean to do it, but. He asked me, can we give him the goal? I said, what do you mean? It's a goal kick. And he's all, well, can we just give him the ball? I was like, oh, okay. Sure. Um, we were up 3-0. I don't know what I would have said if it was a close game, but it's a really nice kid of mine. That, um, so we had the goal kick. Um, our goalie kicked it to our player, and then our player... The, the kid that fouled there, he actually touched the ball into the box and then picked it up with his hands. So the referee called the penalty kick. So they got the penalty that they should have gotten. And our goalie just stood there basically and gave him the goal. So um, the kid did get hurt really bad, ended up having to go to the hospital. I don't remember what happened. I don't know if he broke his leg or anything, but it, it was a pretty significant injury. So... Our player did feel really bad after that, um, but that's one that I can remember. That was a while back, but um, that's one that stood out to me. Uh, do you think sports can build or provide opportunity to display character? Um, yes, definitely. I think gives us opportunity to provide uh, or to build sportsmanship, and it provides opportunities for the kids to display it at the same time. I think as coaches, we all try to teach our our players to do the right thing. Um, that's one of the sayings our, the high school that I coach at has for the basically the whole school. They have it posted all over the place. Do the right thing, do the right thing. They're always saying it and preaching it, and for the most part, the kids try to do the right thing, so... I think just teaching our kids that, uh, you know, showing sportsmanship, um, treating people the way you want to be treated, the whole golden rule thing. Um, after every game, like I said, we shake hands no matter how the game went, say good game, good luck. We shake the referee's hands. We clap for the opponent's fans and our fans, thanking them for cheering us on and stuff. But when the opportunity does come, the kids definitely have... Um, the chance to uh, display their own character and sometimes it's you know it's not something that we taught they just have their own character and 
not there's not necessarily learned it from us, but like the player that I mentioned, it's not something I taught him, uh, but he definitely had the character to do something like that on his own. Um, how else? Uh, how how will you encourage character on your team in the athletic training room or fitness room? Um, in the training room, I always tell the guys make sure you polite ask. Ask nicely to be taped or whatever you need. Uh, to thank the trainers after they help them. And also to make sure they clean up and throw their things in the trash. Uh, not to leave a mess. In the weight room. You go to the weight room uh, before the season. Apparently throughout the season and definitely during winter break we go. And my rule is always to leave the weight room cleaner than, than we got it. Uh, a lot of times you go in there and it's a mess. Especially the football players, they leave weights all over the place. They don't re-rack them. My rule is when we leave them, everything needs to be re-racked, whether they were there, whether they were racked or unracked when we got there. Um, wiping the benches down with their towels. Um, sweeping. We don't sweep every time, but once in a while we'll sweep the place and vacuum the weight room. And always follow the weight room rules. Um... I know, like, football coaches even mentioned that our coaches me that he loves when the soccer team goes in there because they always clean up for them. Uh, he said it jokingly, but it's true. Um, but uh, I think that's about it. Thank you.